Chazal, Kubaruch, Be'ezat Hashem, Inha today is going to be 420. Please make every effort to be there and be there on time. The halakha we're going to discuss today is what happens when a person is supposed to say Barech Aleinu, right, after December 4th, Barech Aleinu, and he um, doesn't remember. He doesn't remember if he said Barech Aleinu or did he say Barech so if he finds himself not remembering and he's still in the middle of the Shemona Yisrael and he hasn't yet gotten up to the Bracha of Shomea Tefillah or he's still within the Bracha of Shomea Tefillah so no harm, no foul. You can still go ahead and say V'ten Tanu Matari Bracha in Shomea Tefillah. So since he's not sure, just say it there. It's not going to cause any damage and it's only going to help. So that's the solution in that case. So even if he's in the bracha, let's say he's in Naminim and Amarishinim, and he doesn't remember, did he say or he didn't say, he should he should continue and wait until Shomea Tefillah, and then he'll say it there. But what happens if he already got to Ritzay? He's past Shomea Tefillah, and then he remembers, I don't know, did I say it, did I not say it? He can't, uh, he can't recall. So the halacha there is that he is then required to go back if, if, big, uh, if, if he's within 30 days of when they started switching, still within the 30 days, we have to assume that he said it to what he was used to. If he's past 30 days, then we say, okay, he probably remembered to say the right thing. He probably trained already his tongue to say the correct way and the correct version. So it depends if 30 days passed or not. And when we say 30 days, it's a little bit loose. Because let's say you have a person who's Hazan. And he's Hazan every Shaharit, every Mincha, he's Hazan. So now he's really praying a lot more prayers than everybody else. So for him, he doesn't need 30 days. He needs 18 days. If you do the math, his Tfirot already add up to the 90 Tfirot that you do in 30 days. 100 Tfirot you do in 30 days. He already does it in much less time. So then if that's the case... He doesn't have to wait the full 30 days because he already managed to train his tongue uh, before that. But otherwise, if he's just a stam average, not a hazan, then he should go ahead and, and calculate if 30 days have passed or not. And based on that, he should decide whether he has to go back. It goes without saying that if you finish this fina and he doesn't remember, and let's say it was right after you finished, not like three hours later, because then it's normal to not remember. But it's right after he finished, he remembered that he's not sure if he said it, he would go back again within 30 days and repeat and make a stipulation, a condition of Nidava. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen.